We've decided that we're going to buy a boat. We've been talking about it for, oh, the last three or four years. So today we're going to go look at a boat. It's, uh, it's an old boat. That's the criteria. We want to take an old boat, fix it up, and uh, we'll see how it works out for us. Might be a waste of money. But one, th one thing about it, Brad and I know absolutely nothing about uh, boats. We're just going to fly by the seat of our pants. Stand by. Going to be a great show. Uh, now would be a good time for you to subscribe to Bandic Outdoor Television. Brad and I put a lot of money and effort into these uh, videos that we're doing. They're not cheap. We know you enjoy them because there's thousands of you watching them. So if you just hit that, hit that subscribe button and watch our videos and help to get us monetized, it would sure do us a big favor and give us some money so that we can continue to make these videos for you. Well, this is it. This is the boat we're looking at. It uh, looks like it's been sitting here for about, well, the owner said it hasn't been uh, in the water for 17 years, so tires are flat. Uh, everything looks good. Looks like it's a kayak holder right now, but uh, we took the kayaks out, we took a look at it, and uh, this is the one. This is the one uh, we made a deal on it, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what the heck we can do with it. So today we're gonna put new tires on it, pack the wheels, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Well, we got the boat on the road. It's uh, sitting on the back of the pickup. We're gonna take it to the shop, and uh, we're gonna go to, go to work on it. It's in better shape than I thought it was. We got the tires on it, and it's. Looking good today. Okay, we made it to the shop with the boat. It's uh, not got any dings or dents in it to speak of. Uh, the trailer needs a little bit of work on it. We're going to have to take the boat off of it anyway. So the inside has original seats in it. Uh, it's pretty darn clean. We'll put it in the water to make sure we don't have any leaks at all. Make sure all the rivets are in good shape. Uh, we've been talking to Jake at uh, Backwater. And he lined us up with some flotation pods and uh, he's been really good about it and very knowledgeable when it comes to talking to him about it because Brad and I know absolutely nothing about boats but uh, you know we've rebuilt a couple of horse trailers and uh, we decided that uh, our next adventure would be a boat. We're going to top it off with a uh, mud skipper and it's the YM22 or 22B and uh, it's a surface drive. We're going to top it off with a Predator uh, 22 horsepower motor out of Harbor Freight. Everybody seems to be getting good service out of those, so we're going to uh, we're going to give it a try. And th these are going to be great videos because we're going to take you through every one that we do, and uh, we'll just uh, hopefully. This thing will do 30 miles an hour on the water once we get it uh, up and running. Our goal is to have it ready to go by opening to fishing season next year. Oh, and we're going to do a paint job on it too. It's going to get rid of this uh, nasty blue or green or whatever it is. It's going to be duck boat green when we get done with it or duck boat brown. So opening day of fishing season, Henry's Lake, that's our goal, which would be Memorial Day weekend next year, 2022. This is how Mud Skipper uh, ships their product. We're pretty damn impressed on how it is. This is the last trailer that we rebuilt. It's a 1984 model. Uh, turned out very good. Put a new floor in it. Uh, oh, the whole some... front end was caved in on it. Put a new front end on it. So it was a two and a half year project. So um, we're proud of the way it came out. And uh, Brad's daughter's using it right now to uh, to haul her 4-H and FFA projects around. So it's just a, it's just a good solid trailer now. So hopefully the boat will turn out just as good as this trailer did. Rebuilding this boat, we're going to use the Casio 7000 to do all the videoing with. We've had them for years and haven't used them a lot, so we're going to give them a try. And then uh, we're going to use the backwater flotation. 
pods and we're going to use the mud skipper drive and we're going to top it with a Predator 22 horsepower from Harbor Freight.